Sarah, recently CBMBS, the College of Veterinary Medicine, contacted you to test the supplemental application to the Professional Veterinary Medical Program. Could you tell us a little bit about that process? Basically, they first had to uh, come up with a site that wasn't actually real so that people wouldn't, you know, go in and actually enter their information into it uh, by mistake, which once that was all set up, I basically went in and signed up as if I were a vet student, and I went through each page individually and would enter my information, um, you know, as if I were actually filling out the application. And there were really only a few uh, problems with it, and I was pretty impressed because a lot of times forms are really difficult to label or they're just done incorrectly. And when you go through with a screen reading software, it's difficult to tell where certain information should go. So sometimes it'll say, you know, name, first, middle, last, and it'll say that for all three of the boxes that, you know, for your first name, middle name, and last name, each of those will say first, middle, last. So sometimes you have to go in and fix that so you know which one, you know, will actually be your first name, your middle name, your last name. And there were really only a few mistakes on uh, the CBMBS page, which was really neat to see. So I didn't have, you know, tons of feedback for them, but I did give them some. And CBMBS do a good job of incorporating your feedback? Yep, they're getting it all set up so that next year the uh, vet school application should be totally accessible, which is neat that you can apply for vet school online and it's accessible. You don't have to request the application in an alternative form or get somebody who cited to help you. You can do it totally independently and it actually didn't take me that long to go through the actual uh, site to you know, enter all that stuff. So that's good.